Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well, and today the topic of our video experiment is a comparison of spoiler and anti -win. What is their difference, which of them has an impact on the car's handling and which on the speed. So let's start with an explanation. What is a spoiler and what is an anti -win? So let's understand once and for all that this is a spoiler and this is spoiler and this is an anti wing So what is a spoiler? A spoiler is a device in a car that is installed in a way that stops the air from flowing smoothly around the vehicle and therefore helps to control it. That is, the spoiler should be very close to the car body. The main purpose of the spoiler is to reduce aerodynamic drag by redirecting the airflow around the car or, in other words, to spoil the air. The anti wing in turn has one but very important value to provide downforce. A wing on aircraft provides lift. If you flip the wing upside down and mount it to a car, it provides lift in the opposite direction, causing downforce. The wing mounts in the car of the vehicle to push down optimally on the rear wheels, providing as much traction as possible. How to remember the difference between an anti wing and a spoiler? Very easy. A wing allows air to flow above and below the surface, and the spoiler allows air to flow only over the top surface. It is also interesting that the spoiler and an anti wing can be used at the same time. And this practice is very often used by manufacturers of sports cars. Well, now we are on our favorite highway, where I always conduct my tests. And today we will test three identical cars, only on one I will install a spoiler, on the other anti wing and on the third I will not install anything, it will be just a standard car. The first will be a test of acceleration from 0 to 100 and from 0 to 200 km per hour. Let's see what results these cars will have. Well, according to the results, we have that the car with the spoiler accelerated to 200 km per hour the fastest, and the standard car had the slowest acceleration. Now let's move on to the braking test. Since all these aerodynamic devices affect on the acceleration, they also affect on the braking. Let's see what the results will be. Now we break from 200 km per hour. We can see that the car with anti wing did the best in the test. A car with a spoiler is in second place and a car with nothing is worse than all the others. And now let's move on to the maneuverability test at high speeds. Since these aerodynamic devices are aimed at diverting the flow of air, let's see if they help to keep the car stable in a straight line.
not bad. The car handles much better. But there, I can do anything at all. No matter how hard I try to turn the wheels, the car just continues to fly forward without paying any attention to my efforts. I hope that now you understand the difference between a win and a spoiler. I hope that you were interested. If so, please leave a like, I will be very very grateful for it. Well, if you want to see more interesting auto experiments, then subscribe to the channel. I have many more interesting ideas for you. Thank you, see you soon.